ng discrete random variables. At ang mga discrete random variables, sila yung mga random variables na nagbibigay lang sa inyo ng mga whole numbers as your variables. So for this example, yung ating table ay nagpapakita ng number of males or mga lalaki in a group who have form or who have a form of color blindness dito sa ating sample. Yung x na nakikita nyo dyan, yung 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which means merong 0 males or walang lalaki sa grupo, so probably lahat sila mga babae. May isang lalaki sa grupo, may dalawang lalaki sa grupo, may tatlong lalaki sa grupo, at yung mga P of X na nakikita nyo dun sa table, yun naman yung corresponding probability niya dun sa number of males doon sa sample na yun. So, pag sinabi natin P of 0 or probability na 0 males yung nandun sa sample, ang probability niya ay 68% or 68% ng mga hindi lalaki ay nagpo-form ng some sort of color blindness. At kung meron naman tayong P of 2, which is X is equal to 2, that means yung probability na may dalawang lalaki sa grupo na meron some sort of color blindness is about 4.5%. So mahalaga na kailangan nyo uh, naiintindihan yung table na pinapresent sa inyo pagdating sa computational probability involving random variables. Now, yung una nating test na gagawin is if ang probability distribution nyo ay legitimate probability distribution. And to be able to do that, you just need to satisfy the condition na yung sum of your probability of x's will equal to 1. So kapag in natin si 0 0.684 all the way to 0, 0.00, ang, ang makukuha nating sum ay 1, which means legitimate probability distribution yung nakikita natin. Now, Punta naman tayo ngayon sa pag-compute ng mean of random variable. Sa pag-compute ng mga mean sa statistics, marami tayong formula tungkol sa mean ng isang sample. Yung regular mean na tinatawag natin or yung usual uh, mean formula is ia-add natin yung given distribution divided by the total number of distribution. But that is for just group or ungrouped data. But this time, meron tayong random variable with corresponding probability. So sa pag-compute ng mean or expected value niyan, ang formula na gagamitin natin is summation of x times px. So yung nakikita yung summation symbol, ibig lang sabihin niyan is to add them all up after niyong i-perform yung given formula, which is x times px. So gagawa tayo ng second or third column na kung saan multiply natin yung bawat x at p of x dun sa third column para mas organized yung ating mga values. So, yung x times p of x would be 0 times 0 0.684 which is equal to 0. Then, 1.0.264 which is 2.264. 3 times 0 0.045 is equal to 0 0.09. At yung 3 times 0 0.006, so be careful with how you use your calculator kasi small mistake will ruin your values of the mean and the standard deviation. So yung ating value for number 3, nasulat ko is 0 0.0018 when I supposed to write 0 0.018. So, nakuha ko naman yung error na yun right away. So, nakorect ko siya at yung susunod na mga values ay tama. So, yung ating third column would represent yung formula natin na summation of x times px. So, all we need to do is to use the summation operation which is to add them all up. So, using our calculator, yung ating mean ng standard deviation would be 0 0.376. Now, sa pag-compute ng standard deviation in any form of sample, kinakailangan nyo ng mean. So, always find the mean first before the standard deviation kasi hindi nyo makukuha yung standard deviation without the mean. So, ang formula ng standard deviation, we have two actually. Yung standard form will be the square root of summation of x squared times p of x minus mu squared at sa ibang formation naman na kung saan yung data natin is hindi random variable, ang usual value or formula would be square root of x minus 
mu squared times p of x and then square root of that. So you need to remember the difference between variance and standard deviation. Yung variance is yung walang square root and then pag kinuha nyo na yung square root ng variance, yun na yung standard deviation. And to do that, gagamitin natin yung unang formula which is the summation of x squared times p of x minus mu squared and then we'll take the square root of that after we add them all up. So, gagawa ulit tayo ng column na magre-represent naman ng x squared at ng x squared times p of x. So, in statistics or random variable, mahalaga na meron tayong organized na table para nakikita natin yung uh, sequences of the process na ginagamit natin sa formula. Kasi medyo masalimuot yung formula na or pag-solve ng mean and standard deviation pag marami tayong data tulad nitong nakikita natin. So, umpisa natin yung column ng x squared. So, basically, isi-square nyo lang yung mga x's. So, kahit walang calculator, kaya nyo i-produce yung column na x squared. So, x squared will be 0 squared, which is 0, 1 squared, which is 1, 2 squared which is 4 all the way to 25. So madali lang yung x squared. And then dun sa next column natin which is yung p of x or x squared times p of x, multiply natin ngayon si column x squared at si column p of x para maproduce natin yung formula na yun dun sa ating standard deviation. So, kailangan nyo na ng calculator for this particular column. So, yung first one will still be easy because 0 times 0 0.684 is just 0. And then 1 times 0 0.264 is 0 0.264. And then dun sa mga susunod, 4 times 0 0.045 is 0 0.18, all the way to 25 times 0 0.00, which is 0. So since nakuha na natin yung mga formula ng ating standard deviation or yung parts ng formula ng standard deviation, all, all we need to do is to perform the formula using the summation method or the summation symbol or operation and then we'll take the square root of that. So kunin natin ngayon yung summation ng um, x minus or x squared times p of x. At ang summation niya would be 0 plus 0 0.264 all the way to 0 is 0 0.514. So yun yung nagre-represent ng formula natin na x squared times px. And then kailangan na lang natin i-incorporate c minus mu squared at c mu squared or mean squared na kuha na natin siya which is 0 0.376. And by plugging in plugging them all into the formula of the standard deviation. So, meron tayong uh, square root of 0 0.514 minus 0 0.376 square. So, using our calculator, yung square root nyan would be point or yung uh, difference no ating values would be 0 0.379311 and then we'll that would be your variance, and then after mong kunin yung square root nyan, yun na yung ating standard deviation, which is 0 0.615. So, sa pagsagot ng mean and standard deviation, we know that the mean is 0 0.376, or yung expected value ng number of males na merong some sort of color blindness or form of color blindness at yung standard deviation naman niya is about 0 0.6. So yan yung paraan ng pagkuha ng standard deviation at ng or ng mean at ng standard deviation ng ating random variables. Mas madaling sagutan kapag ang problem natin ay something that we are more familiar with. Right? Mas madaling sagutan ng mga math problems kung familiar na tayo sa notations na nakikita natin. For example, 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4.